before you put it on so we can go free in here. Concur. John Grunsfeld about to use a uh, ratchet tool uh, to uh, drive the uh, locking mechanism on that uh, solar ray wing, which is better known as the PDM or primary deployment mechanism. Uh, that uh, will basically loosen uh, the pivoting uh, screw that holds uh, the uh, wing at a uh, perpendicular position and will allow it to be uh, pivoted upwards into a parallel position against uh, the body of the telescope. At the time uh, that all this retraction work is going on, uh, the orbiter will be placed in free drift, uh, basically disabling all of its uh, jet thrusters temporarily to avoid any inadvertent jet thruster firings that might uh, hamper the uh, delicate uh, removal of this wing uh, from the side of the Hubble Space Telescope. Let me know when you're there. And a good view now that we're back with downlink television of John Grunsfeld at the lower portion of your screen in a portable foot restraint. Uh, ready to uh, pivot uh, that uh, starboard solar array wing upwards toward Rick Lenahan, who is uh, affixed uh, to the end of the shuttle's robot arm near the top of your picture. Okay, here we go. The array wing now about to be pivoted upward by Grunsfeld. Okay, it's coming. See good motion. Nearly free spin. Still, I'm taking the. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can that it off. It takes your time. Show the ratchet, and then you can have two hands on it. The uh, the ratchet in action is enough to slew it. Roger. Okay, is Rick in a good position? I believe I am, John. Okay. Can we see good slew? Thank you. I'm going to keep it nice and slow. Okay, it's coming up uh, nicely. Once uh, the array wing is uh, in its parallel position against the body of the telescope, uh, there will be a locking mechanism engaged uh, to uh, keep it in that uh, orientation. John Grunsfeld will begin then to demate uh, a number of connectors uh, holding uh, the wing from uh, the diode box assembly, its electronic box. Roger, clockwise. Okay, it's seated. Okay, if it's seated, then, uh, John, you can half a turn. And I can get them rockets engaged. Okay, I can release. Looks good. And the solar array wing now locked in place uh, in the position it will be in uh, for its uh, removal from the Hubble Space Telescope. Okay, now it's ready for motion. In motion. How are your hands, John? You're doing fine. How about yours? Can you feel them yet in terms of the cold? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little. Me too. No trouble uh, if you guys want to check out the heaters outside. Well, John Grunsfeld now begins to work on uh, demating uh, a number of connectors holding uh, the um, solar array wing from its electronics box on the telescope. Rick Linehan is now in the process of being maneuvered at the end of the robot arm by robot arm operator Nancy Curry, who's working at the aft flight deck of Columbia, uh, down uh, to retrieve a uh, thermal cover for the uh, wide field planetary camera. That uh, cover will be installed on the aft shroud of the telescope uh, 
as a get-ahead task in support of the uh, change out of the power control unit uh, box in the Hubble Space Telescope on Wednesday morning. Disconnecting a number of connectors holding that wing uh, to the electronics box known as the diode box assembly. That diode box assembly essentially routes power from the solar array wings uh, to the uh, six nickel cadmium batteries in the telescope. Columbia is currently flying over Mexico at an altitude of 362 statute miles, about five and a half minutes away from an orbital sunrise. Roger. Counterclockwise one. Okay, going down to counterclockwise one. Z drive set five plus turn. Three first. Grunsfeld and Linehan almost an hour and a half into their spacewalk, uh, right on the timeline. Again, these uh, connectors are on a bracket uh, th to which uh, the starboard solar array wing is connected to the Hubble Space Telescope. These uh, connectors mate uh, the wing itself uh, to electronics boxes that uh, distribute the power to the six nickel cadmium batteries on the telescope. Just a reminder that the Y and Z connectors will be facing each other. Yep. Thank you. Okay, Nancy, ready for motion. Okay, in motion. And just a reminder, Rick, as you go to the astroud, you'll do the whip pick cover first. Then you'll do the six head star tracker covers. The left side has the bayonet. Thanks, Jim. The shuttle's robot arm and a portable foot restraint as he um, affixes uh, light shields and thermal covers over the uh, Widefield Planetary Camera and the fixed head star trackers along the aft shroud of the Hubble Space Telescope at the rear of Columbia's cargo bay. Okay, with the thermal cover is installed, buddy, for fixed head star trackers. At the, if you could please take me counterclockwise one, 10.5. Good setting, five foot.
speed and lace. Two. With Rick Linehan having uh, successfully uh, draped uh, thermal covers and light shields over the fixed head star trackers and the Whitefield Planetary Camera on the Hubble Space Telescope in preparation for Wednesday's spacewalk and the uh, change out of that power control unit in the observatory. You're looking um, at a helmet cam shot uh, from John Grunsfeld uh, right over his shoulder as he uh, continues uh, to demate connectors uh, that hold the uh, starboard solar array wing uh, to uh, its associated electronics distribution box in the telescope. Once uh, the array is uh, in its clamp, uh, Grunsfeld will uh, use the power grip tool, the pistol grip tool, that uh, high-tech screwdriver. Uh, he'll make 22 turns of the screws uh, to uh, firmly lock the array in place.
Rick Linehan now in control of the brand new rigid array, 640 pound uh, solar wing that will be installed on the starboard side of the Hubble Space Telescope and will fold open like a book, exposing its gallium arsenide solar cells uh, for additional power for all of Hubble's instruments. The EVA officer here in Mission Control, uh, Dana Weigel, reports uh, to Flight Director Brian Austin that uh, the spacewalkers are running about 30 minutes ahead of the timeline. Keep it in the same orientation with your body if you can, easily. I'm just going to put it right out in front of me. Yeah, good. You see a good slow rate, keep it slow. It looks like you're not having any trouble with the mass handling. Can you give us a report? Uh, the report is that, you know, as you said, it's important to go very, very slow because it can get away from you and it's hard to get the rate stopped. W stowed. Columbia Houston, when you get to it, your go for PFR ingress and SA3 connector mate. Coffee, thank you. Max, I feel like I've got a little bit of forward pitch in the plate. Moves from northwest to southeast uh, along the western coast of Africa. Rick Linehan continues uh, to hold uh, the brand new solar array, the rigid array, uh, which uh, will fold open like a book to expose uh, gallium arsenide solar cells uh, for increased power for the Hubble Space Telescope. An identical array will be installed tomorrow morning by Jim Newman and Mike Massimino during the second of the five spacewalks planned for this mission. Once uh, the array is folded open, it will measure about uh, 25 feet in length and about 8 feet high. 5,200 watts of power. It weighs about 640 pounds on, on the Earth and uh, will provide less drag against the telescope and uh, enable the telescope to maintain its altitude for a longer period of time. Three hours, 45 minutes into this morning's spacewalk as Columbia sails over southern Africa. Six inches. I'd like to recommend we pause for a moment. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. Need to do a quick check. Rick, you have everything stored up. Oh, yeah, I'm going to store it up instead of allowing the array to come in. Okay, and I'll hold it at this side. Okay. Okay. I'll, okay. Give, you, I'll give you a call when I think I'm good. Okay. Once the array is installed, uh, we'll be waiting for the call uh, that uh, three clamps of soft dock uh, have soft dock to hold the array in place. How close are we, John? We're holding it about uh, five inches. Okay. Until a final solar array drive assembly clamp is engaged by Grunsfeld. So we could still drive in a bit more because we're still about five inches away, and I don't want to. I, I don't want to take the chance of not having enough. Okay, John, can you, does it look like it's perfectly uh, aligned with that thing? So I'm going to, if, if we're stopped here, we can work on that. I think we should line it up before you go in any further with your call. Okay, Rick, I'd like you to move your end of the array towards your left. About uh, three or four inches. Okay, stop there. Okay. I'd like you to roll left just about four degrees. Okay, stop there. Okay. And bring it down about uh, two or three inches. The whole array? The whole, at your end, yeah. At my end, okay. Okay. How's that? That looks pretty good to see, Jim. 
How's it look from there? Stand by, we just want to verify the strap on the port side. I can see it floating around. Okay, if you can verify it's clear, then uh, we think you need maybe a little bit more to get it. Okay, push. Okay, lift up on the whole array and to your left. Lift up a little bit more. Okay, we have the bottom soft dock. We do not yet have the upper left. How about if I come up a little bit more to the left, John? Just a little bit up and to your left. Nope, we still don't have it. We're just key it centered. Can I bring it up more? Very, very gently. Okay, I'm going to bring it up. And to the left. Yep. You got it. Okay. I, I, I felt it go in. Okay. All three. Stand by. All three. Okay. Yeah. I let go. I'm off the array, guys. Stay close. Soft docking of the uh, starboard rigid solar array now confirmed. This one's from Omen Regroup. Yep. Concur. Will be for John Grunsfeld to engage uh, the solar ray drive assembly clamp with about 20 turns of that pistol grip tool he's holding. We'll be losing uh, television here just seconds from now as we pass out of range of uh, our Western satellite on the tracking and data relay satellite system. We'll reacquire a television picture a little more than a half an hour from now. Jim, no joy. Still about in the same position. Old uh, starboard solar array, the new rigid array installed on the starboard side of the telescope. John Grunsfeld will mate a cable called the P601 cable that will correctly route power from the new array to the uh, diode box controller in uh, the telescope. That uh, electronic relay box essentially uh, routes power correctly from the array to the six uh, batteries in the telescope, the six nickel-cadmium batteries that power all of Hubble's systems and instruments.